and welcome to a brand new episode of This Week in Disney History. We're hanging out at Hollywood Studios. Oh crap, wrong studios. That was weird, right? So anyways, we're here at the correct studios, Disney's Hollywood Studios, for a brand new episode of This Week in Disney History. I am your host, Milo Beasley. And uh, yeah, we're hanging out here at studios. Uh, we're gonna go do the, the Star Trek and uh, the, no, is that wrong? Okay, all right, we're gonna go do Star Wars. I'm uh, gonna go check out uh, the Runaway Railway. We're gonna go maybe do, we're gonna go see what the tower is like. And uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about what happened this week in Disney history. And we're gonna start this week, September 27th. Uh, we're going to go back on our Wayback Machine, 1947, fun and fancy free Mickey Mouse uh, cartoon, Walt Disney's ninth cartoon, fun and fancy free, is released. Uh, what's next? Oh yeah, 2008, so September 27th, 2008, the last day for the Pleasure Island nightclubs. They were soon shut down, destroyed, taken down, and rebuilt for uh, what is now Disney Springs. So. Sorry, Pleasure Island lovers. I know there's a bunch of you out there, but... Uh, which brings us to uh, 2014, right? Yes, yeah, so this date, September 27th, 2014. The last day for the Backlot Tour at Hollywood Studios. I wonder, wonder what ever happened to the area where they had the Backlot Tour. And now we're on September 28th, September 28th, 1982. Just a couple days prior to the opening of the Epcot Center, Walt Disney World introduces these things. Except back then they were annual passports. So the very first annual passport debuted on September 28th, 1982. And I've been a card holder ever, no, I would, I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> uh, September 28th, 1994. Right, 1994, yes, 1994, Michael Eisner pulls the plug on what would be the Disney's America theme park in Virginia. Uh, things just weren't going right. It would have been a, a theme park dedicated to all things America, the Civil War, uh, Great Depression, you know, things that you wanna really highlight. So, <laughs> uh, the plug got pulled and they canceled it. And actually they moved a couple of those uh, items, those ideas over to Disney's California Adventure. I mean, not the Great Depression part, but some of the other stuff. Hell, <laughs> you know, what else? September 29th, 1938, Walt Disney Enterprises combines with several other smaller little companies within uh, the Disney company to form Walt Disney Productions. In just last year, 2019, September 29, 2019, this thing, the Skyliner Gondola, opens up as its grand opening Please to guests staying and traveling to MGM, I mean, Hollywood, Please Epcot, the Caribbean, the Riviera. Lady, I'm talking. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, Which brings us to September 30th, September 30th, 1991. President George Bush makes an appearance at Epcot Center and has a speech at the American Gardens Pavilion. I was not there. Uh, 2000, this day, 2003, the opening day for Mickey's Philhar Magic at the Magic Kingdom. I love that show. It has air conditioning. Donald Duck is the star. What more could you ask for? And finally, on this date, just last year, 2019, the last day for Illuminations uh, Reflections of Earth was replaced the very next day with Epcot Forever, which hasn't been forever. And that, of course, brings us to October 1st, one of the biggest days in Disney history ever. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with October 1st, 1928. This is the date that Walt Disney attributes the birthday to Mickey Mouse. Now, a lot of people know that uh, Mickey's birthday is celebrated on November 18th. Walt Disney actually said uh, that uh, Mickey's birthday was October 1st, 1928, as that was the first, that was the start of the Steamboat Willie cartoon. Even though Steamboat Willie was the third cartoon, 
but so what are you going to celebrate? Are you going to celebrate October 1st? Are you going to celebrate November 19th or 18th? I say both. Cake every day. We're going to just celebrate Mickey's birthday every day. Uh, but that day, October 1st, 1928, may be why on, uh, in 1971, October 1st, Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom, had its grand opening and welcomed guests for the very first time. Hopefully next year, during its 50th anniversary, we are back open 100%. Everyone's having fun. It's still going to be 1,000 degrees outside, but we're still going to be having fun. I hope they make the... the I hope they make the castle of cake. Uh, also on this date, the very next year, 1972, Winnie the Pooh was nominated as the presidential <laughs> nominee for the children's party at a convention at Walt Disney World. Now, unfortunately, Winnie the Pooh is Canadian, but I know, I, again, I know what you're saying, but he's, he's British, he's, he's from the UK. Well, okay, so you see, Winnie the Pooh is a Canadian bear that was at a London zoo. So that is where, okay, we don't need to talk about that because October 1st, 1982, we celebrate the grand opening of the Epcot Center. We've done a couple videos uh, since then. I'm about to be run over. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up. And that brings us to October 2nd. October 2nd, 1987. Disney dollars are introduced for the very first time in increments of one and five dollars at the Epcot Center. Of course, they don't use them anymore, so if you have them, they're collector's items. Uh, also, this date, 1999, Fast Passes are introduced to Disneyland Paris for the very first time. Indiana Jones is the correct answer if you were wondering what was the very first ride to have that Fast Pass at Disneyland Paris. Hopefully we'll see you soon, Disneyland Paris. And finally, on this date in 2016, the debut of Great Muppets in American history at Magic Kingdom. I miss my Muppets. Uh, so you're just gonna have to settle for uh, this week in Disney history for your history needs. Which brings us to our last day of this week, October 3rd. Uh, Snowman's gonna tell you about it. All right, so October 3rd, 1955, the very first premiere episode of the Mickey Mouse Club television show. So yeah, we're celebrating, I guess, 65 years of the Mickey Mouse Club, right? 65, that's the same year as Disneyland. I don't know how to do math. I have my snowman guy do it for me. So uh, but that's gonna do it for this week in Disney history. Thanks for watching. Of course, do all the, the things that uh, all the cool, cool, get it, the cool kids do. Uh, subscribe, follow, like, share, do all those things. Please tell your friends. And then join me next week for this week in Disney history. Aren't you a kid's